it's time for another ticket swap over to your paper pantry. This month it's going to be spooky so it's kind of a Halloween theme and I'm changing the swap up just a little bit. I'm going to ask you to make five strips of five and then you'll get five strips of five. I just think it's easier to do five at a time. So I hope that's not asking too much, but they sure are a lot of fun. First, got to show you this paper that I'm showing you on. I rearranged my scrap room, and I'm just about done with it, and then I'll show it to you. But this was a newspaper I found behind a picture once, and I, I forgot that I had this. And the, the date on it is July 27th, 1914, right here. And look at this really cute comic. I'm not going to read it to you, but I just love these characters. They're so neat. I should probably do something like copy them with the copy machine. I'll have to see what I can do. Anyway, so the theme is spooky. So here are my tickets. This is, um, oh, a uh, Crafty Secrets stamp set. I just love this stamp set. It's so much fun. This actually is a Tim Holtz bat, and I was at a crop at archivers and they let you use all their things so they let me use the um tim holtz die cut to do that then i made little green blingy eyes and the cobweb and the trick-or-treater from the stamp set and so is this the boo and the cat so that's the back of that one um this is from the same set. Isn't she adorable? And then I, I stamped her on the ticket, then I stamped her on some other paper and cut out her hat and attached the hat and put some um, stickles on there. And then I colored her with some Tim Holtz markers and then inked around it with the Tim Holtz ink. Then I also cut out the same strip out of some Halloween paper and a couple of them have this on the back of it because I just thought that would be kind of fun. Then this one is from the same set too. So I stamped this on the ticket and the bat on the ticket. Then he is glossy accented. And then I stamped Happy Halloween, but I pop dot that one on there. So those are all the same. Then on the back, and this again is from that Crafty Secret um, Halloween stamp set. And then I just stamped, this is one stamp, and then I stamped those and colored them, and this is another stamp from the same set. So that's a third one. The fourth set, it, fourth one is a spider from the same set. And then I was cutting out some, like, fences, and this was a piece that was, you know, you're supposed to throw away this little black piece, but I just, um white embossed the word boo from the same set and then glossy accented the bat up here and did some white stitching with a gel pen there. Did I did do a little coloring on the spider and used a white pen on his spats. So and then this again has this on the other side but it's kind of fun because it looks different than this one because they're done from different parts of the paper, so I just thought that would be kind of fun. Then this is the last one that I did, and again I used a spider web, and then a pumpkin. He actually has arms and legs, but I didn't cut all that out. And this was one of the cuts I was cutting with my Cricut. It's um, iron, something iron. Cricut cartridge. I can't really remember, but it was a little fence, and then I used that green bling again, and I glossy accented the pumpkin. I haven't finished this one yet. I haven't uh, antiqued around the edge or done have done the back, but see what a difference? Just that little uh, antiquing around the edge just finishes them off so much, I think, anyway. Just taking a little bit of... Uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and going around the edge, so I still need to do that one. But I just wanted to get this video up and ready because I think I'll be out of, I think I'll be at the cabin when it's time to post it. So I just want to get you all excited and I hope you all join the challenge at your paper pantry. We really have a lot of fun and we've really had some really great tickets this last month and they really are a lot of fun to you. So Thanks for watching. Have a great day and sign up over at your paper pantry. Bye-bye.